Hello everyone, new video once again about a new feature I added to RPG Builder that is also coming with version 1.0.3. This is something I called Action Abilities and it's um, a feature that was requested a lot by the community. It's basically a way, um, at least in how the community asked for it, right? So the description for this was they needed a way to attach some abilities to weapons so that, for example, you could use a left click or a right click and for example left click with an axe would be a uh, swing and right click could be a spin ability or for example allowing you to block or whatever right so this is something that was not really possible with RPG Builder before that and it is now of course as you know me I'm always pushing things um, a bit or maybe even a lot further and not only you can have action abilities on your weapons now but you can also have them on the armors as you can see here but also on your races, as many as you want, of course, as always, you, you, you're not limited to one or two classes and skills. So that's pretty much full freedom for you. Uh, once again, how you design your game. So the way it works is that, as you can see here, we have the basic axe and we can, as I said, add as many action abilities as we want. In this case, we will just keep one. And here it's very simple. When you add a new one, you select the ability that you want and you select the key that it should be um, or you know that should trigger it so in this case here we have an axe spin of course the name extra doesn't matter that's just some testing abilities for this video but in this case i have a spin ability attached to my axe when i press the uh, right mouse button and if we go to the race and human we see that uh, this one doesn't have one but we could add one for example and I'm going to use the, um, well actually no, uh, there is one already on the class, it makes a little more sense. So on the warrior here you see that we have uh, the axe swing ability. So here um, the warrior itself, so the class itself, when using left click has this uh, axe swing ability. And left click is defined here of course. So that's pretty much it. If I would go um, in game now. So this is a human warrior and that's why, you know, um, we now have the uh, left click ability and I can just, you know, left click. You see that I have no abilities on my bar, right? So these abilities are indeed um, just part of those action ones. So if I click left click now, I can spam it, but it's not going to uh, spam it because it does as a cooldown, which is defined in the ability. So, but now I can just, you know, use my left click as a warrior. And now because I have the axe equipped, I can also use the right click and have this AOE spin, uh, which is applying a dot to the uh, enemies. Now, if I unequip my weapon, um, and I have it in my bag, and now I'm spamming the right click, nothing is going to happen, right? But if I equip this again, it works, obviously. So very straightforward and not much really like to um, to really like explain much more than that. It's very easy. You create an ability, you attach it to your right to your race, classes, skills, armors, or even weapons. You decide which keybind it should be, and that's it. You're done. Uh, just one detail to keep in mind is that those abilities, for example, if if you were to create a new one have to be of type player action ability. That's pretty much all you need to do. And then the rest is like any other normal ability. You don't have to worry about that at all. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to explain. I hope you guys like the feature. Definitely let me know in the comments or on Discord. And as always, ask me if you have any question or if you need help. And see you in the next video.